Good morning, children. Good morning. How are you all? Fine. Fine. Have you taken your lemon juice? Yes. How is it? So, it's so tasty. Okay. Uh, children, do you want to learn a health tip? Yes. Health tip? Yes. 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 Today, health tip is fruits are good for health. What is that? Fruits are Good for health. Yes, fruits are good for health. Okay, because free because fruits contain more nutrients. Okay, why why fruits are good to, good for health? Because fruits contain more nutrients. Okay. Uh, before going to our topic, now I ask some questions. Are you ready to answer it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, come on, children. Tell me, what are the primary needs to us? Yes. Silence. Come on, tell me. Sunlight. Uh, water and shelter and yes, yeah. yes, food. Okay, this first question and second question. Uh, if you feel thirsty, what do you do? We drink water. What do we do? We drink water. Silence. And third one, uh, what we do after plantation? And we pour some? Very good. We pour water to the plants. Okay? Uh, in these three, what is the common thing? Water. Yes, water. Now I am going to explain about water. What is our topic? Water. Water, very good. What happened? What is our topic? Water. Water. W-A-T-E-R Okay Water hmm. Children, do you know uh, how many water farms are there? Three farms uh, What are they? Come on, tell me what are they? Yes, farms of water How many farms? Three farms. What are they? First one is solid farm and second one is liquid farm and third one is gases farm. What the second one? Liquid farm. And what is the last one? Yes. Yes, yes. Farm. Now, let us see solid form of water. Okay? Children, can you guess what is the solid form of water? Ice. Yes, ice is the solid form of water. Are you following me? Yes. yes. Uh, can you give another example for solid form of water? Snow. Yes, very good. Snow. Uh, do you know how do we get ice? Freeze. Yes, when we freeze the water, then we get ice. Okay. Uh, now, what's the second one? Liquid form of water. 
uh, in our campus there is a pond, you know? Yes. yes. In the pond, water is in the form of liquid. Okay, so that the water in the liquid form is present in oceans, rivers, lakes, etc. Okay? Mm. What is the third one? Yes. Gases form of water. Uh, do you know the gases form of water? What is that? How do we get? Yes. Hmm. When we eat the water, the water converts into water vapor. This is the gases form of water. Okay? Uh, imagine this is an ice cube. Okay? What? It is an ice. Okay? Uh, now I heat the ice. What happened? The ice converts into water. Okay? Again I heat the water up to 100 degrees Celsius. What happened? The water converted into water vapor. Okay? Uh, similarly, if we cool the water vapor, the water vapor turns into water. Okay? This is the liquid form of water. Again we freeze the water up to 0 degrees zero degree centigrade the water converts into ice I can write like this ice when we heat the ice what happens yes it converts into water very good again I heat the water what happened yes Uh, if I cool this water vapor, what happens? The water vapor converts into water. Okay? Uh, again, I freeze the water. What happens? The water turns into ice. From this, what do we observe? Come on, tell me, what do we observe? When we heat the ice, the ice converts into water and again we heat the water, a water converts into water vapor. When we freeze the water, when we cool the water vapor, the water vapor turns into water and again we freeze the water, a water converts into ice. So from this, what do we understand? From this, we understand the three forms of water are interchangeable. What, is, what do we understand here? The three forms of water are interchangeable, okay? Okay? Mm. Children, do you know how do we get water? How do we get water? From the rain. Uh, do you know the main cause for rain? Yes, clouds. What? Clouds. Do you know the formation of clouds? Yes. yes. Now let us see the formation of clouds. Formation of clouds. Okay. Before going to our formation of clouds, uh, I introduce two words. Are you ready to learn it? Yes, yes you always read it. Okay? First one is evaporation. What is that? Evaporation. Evaporation. What is the second one? Can you guess? Yes, condensation. Condensation. What is the first one? Evaporation. And the second one is? Condensation. Condensation. Do you know the meaning of evaporation? Yes. yes. This is the process of converting water into water vapor is known as evaporation. Okay. Another one. What is the second one here? Condensation. condensation. What is the meaning of? What is the meaning of condensation? The process of converting water vapor into water is known as? Condensation, okay? These are two words in this lesson, okay? What is that? Evaporation and condensation, okay? Now let us see the formation of clouds, okay? 
in the day time the sun sunlight heats the water okay in the day time the sunlight heats the water or after that what happened the water converts into water vapor okay the water converts into water vapor and that means it moves away from the surface of the earth okay uh, do you know uh, the upper upper side upper side when we go the upper side how, how is the weather weather is cool okay so when these water vapor reaches the higher level then it turns into it condenses due to the contact of cool air and turns into water droplets water water vapor turns into water droplets water vapor turns into come on tell me turns into water droplets okay these water droplets form a forms a cloud when the form when the clouds get cool it produces rain okay now children all of you look at this picture what are they yes tell me come on solid form liquid form gaseous form what is the meaning of condensation the process of converting water vapor into water is known as condensation what is the meaning of evaporation yes uh, observe carefully the picture observe carefully okay Mm. Uh, in the what what do we observe here yes here this is a sun and water clouds rain and water vapor now in the day time the sunlight heats the water okay then the water turns into water vapor and again the water vapor uh, water vapor forms a cloud and clouds when the cloud get cool the cloud gets cool the it produces rain again we get water from the water vapor again uh, water to water vapor water vapor to clouds clouds to rain no this from this from this picture we conclude that <coughs> uh, we get water from the water water from the water vapor and water water vapor to clouds clouds to rain rain to water and again water to water vapor and water vapor to clouds clouds to rain rain to water so this process is known as water cycle what is it water cycle okay mm, okay uh, if there any use of water children uh, come on tell me what are the uses of water Mm, we use water for different purpose uh, for example we use water for drinking purpose why are you laughing here now let us see the use of water okay uses of water Uh, come on, tell me what are the use of water? Yes, we use water for drinking purpose and yes, cooking purpose. Yes. What? Yes, cultivate, cultivating purpose. Ah, uh, yes, washing our clothes or bathing. Okay. washing purpose and bathing bathing okay bathing is baths okay uh, and etc so from this what do we conclude we can't survive without water can we 
No. no. So water is precious. So don't waste water. Okay. This is our today's topic. Uh, shall I ask some questions? Yes. Yes. How many farms of water are there? Three. Three farms of water. How what are they? Uh, can you give an example for solid form of water? Ice. Ice. Okay. Uh, example for gases form of water? water. Yes, water vapor. And what is the meaning of evaporation? The yes, the, the process of converting water into water vapor is known as evaporation. Very good. What is the meaning of condensation? Uh, what are the use of water? Yes. Can we live without water? No. no. Okay? This is our topic.